Upon my arrival in the Philippines, I created a video showcasing various local fast food chains, excluding the widely known Jollibee. These establishments were ubiquitous, greasing both mall complexes and nearly every street corner. After residing in the country for six months, I uncovered additional hidden gems. Still not Jollibee. But these gems aren't as prevalent as the big corporations I last visited. Today I'm going to introduce you to two very local establishments and one that is extremely large but still unknown to most foreigners. Alright, we're going to kick this video off here at a place called Binolo and let's check this out. I'm not sure what I got here. Okay, so we got one thing here. This is the dinner guana. I want to hold off on that because I've got to try a fast food dinner guana. I haven't had that yet. And here we've also got a seasick. So let's go get a seasick opened up. We're going to open up a couple of them. So everything here is done on banana leaves. And apparently, part of the purpose behind starting Banala was because it was very westernized, uh, very international, your KFCs, your McDonald's, your things like this going on. And what Benalo did is they introduced traditional Filipino food back into a fast food style of restaurant. Oh, that looks amazing. This one here, this is an all pork adobo. And it's got some salted egg and some rice in here. All right, done a ton of street food. Not necessarily fast food, like something like what you're saying here, but let's give this dinner, the, not dinner guan. Let's give this CC a shot. Oh my, I'm gonna be, I, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from a fast food style CC or anything else. This is pretty good. Oh my god. Sea sig, some egg, some rice. I'm grabbing a chili. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Salted egg, rice, pork adobo. Here's the thing. I'm not sure what their cooking methods are, but it tastes like a home-cooked meal. It's not that mass-produced frozen burger flavor. This is fantastic. I first heard of this place from Gian. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know who Gian is, Gian is a local guide here who I have done several food tours with. Uh, you can check out one of his videos right up here. But he said that this was his favorite place. And since speaking to him, at least 15 different Filipinos have said, like, if, you, if you're really looking for decent half food, this is the place to come to, and it's amazing. Oh, yeah. All right, so this one right here, this is what, this is their bistec tapa. Uh, things like tapsilog became quickly one of my favorite things here in the Philippines. So here you got a little bit of the bistec tapa, you got some rice, you got some salt and egg. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's got almost like a beautiful like stewed beef flavor to it. Oh wow. It tastes like a slow roasted piece of beef. It's delicious. Yeah. Salted egg, rice, chicken and dough. I can't get over it. Everything is literally super fresh tasting. It's it all like tastes like a home cooked meal. Oh wow. I didn't have the high expectations for what I was gonna find fast food wise. This is a very pleasant surprise. <laughs> yeah. You guys know my love affair with dinner one? I've never had a fast food dinner one. I don't really, I'm not even really sure what that means.
Put delicious. The initial hit on it was a little bit sour, kind of sweet. Oh, good. All right, kid you not, Benalit, my new favorite fast food restaurant in the entire world. See what else we can get into. All right, next place we're gonna do here is a place called Tropical Hut. When I did the first fast food video, when I got here to the Philippines, tons of comments came in telling me I had to come here. They've kept coming for the last six months. Check it out. All right, so to start with here, Tropical Hut was established in 1961. It is the seventh oldest food chain in the Philippines. Uh, it is considered the Philippines' original burger, established well before Jollibee or McDonald's established themselves here in the Philippines. So what I've done is I've ordered five different things here. You guys have seen me eat a ton of palabok all over the Philippines, so we're going to give a fast food version of it a try. I've never had a fast food burger now. Now, nobody specifically told me how great this was or anything, but I did read some reviews on it, and many people are going like this is one of their favorite things here. So, and I wanted to get it with the chicken because I wanted to try the chicken while I was here as well, but let's try the pot on it. Here's the thing, it's fast food. Um, once again, you have no expectation of what anything's gonna taste like. Their palabra is actually really good. Now, if you guys remember from my very first fast food video that I did here in the Philippines, I was introduced to the Filipino spaghetti, which you guys also say I never complain about anything. I'm not complaining about it, but it's not very good. I would take palaba a million times every day over any of the spaghetti that you're going to get at any of the fast food joints anywhere. It's way too sweet for me. This is nice, still shrimpy flavor to it. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. First, let me just tear a piece of the skin. I'm dip into a little bit of the gravy. Let's try to check the skin. That is tasty. That is really good. I don't want to get my hands too messy here. I want to get all that dipped into the gravy. This is good. You know, it's it's one of those things that you know, I'll, I'll do it in a pinch. Like if I'm sitting around the house and I'm working, yeah, I could definitely order this. Prices are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys can explain in the comments for me. Apparently there was this thing where Tropical Heart was just kind of dying out. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, there's a, depending on what article you read, as of July of 2023, there were 22 locations across Luzon. Uh, but apparently there was, um, Tropical Hut was dying out at one point in time. And there was a couple of Twitter posts that gave a resurgence for people to kind of come and check it out again. Um, apparently it's back on an upswing, and it should be. But the food, so far, has been phenomenal. This is the Rancho Ranchero. I'm just gonna fold it up before I put anything on it. I'm gonna grab my mustard, my hot sauce. And my ketchup. Just so I'm ready for it, but I'm gonna go just plain here. Nothing on this. I just wanna be able to get a flavor up for it. I want that egg yolk to bust on that burger. Plain, nothing on this. It needs something on it. It needs, as you guys know, I like heat, so we're gonna get some hot sauce on here. I'm curious if this is tomato ketchup or banana ketchup. That definitely tastes like tomato ketchup. Messy burger, now we're gonna go, go with this again. Rancho Ranchero. <laughs> yeah, that does it. You put a little bit of the dressing on it. Um, everything live and dried up. Mm. 
And the cucumbers on the burgers that they do here, a real great touch. It's a little refreshing Christmas that happens with it. It's delicious. All right, this one here, this is their, uh, the pineapple burger, uh, pineapple bliss, Hawaiian bliss. I don't remember the name of it right off hand. Uh, but this definitely needs something. But what do you put on a pineapple burger? Like, I don't know if ketchup would be the way to go, mustard would be the way to go. Tell you what, I'm gonna try a little bit of both. A little bit of mustard. A little bit of ketchup. Uh, you got the same cucumbers, you have the lettuce on there. Once again, I asked for no tomatoes because they're disgusting. Uh, also, for the record, I am a fan of pineapple on pizza as well, which is very common here in the Philippines. So if you're from North America, be offended, I don't care. <coughs> These are good. The pineapple slice on it's nice. You really cannot go wrong with this. These are amazing. This next sandwich coming up. This is their clubhouse sandwich. Uh, so once again, it looks like some scrambled egg, uh, almost like a chicken salad, and some ham. It looks like there may be some ham in there as well. Let's give it a shot. That is very nice. Chicken salad's nice, the egg's nice. The ham, I don't even really taste it. Still a little bit of hot sauce on the bite. <laughs> I just went through this whole thing about this uh, CB burger, and it turns out I wasn't recording the whole time. The entire time I looked up and it was not recording. So this is the CB burger that I've now eaten the vast majority of. Uh, it's a great burger. Uh, of all the burgers, it's probably my favorite one of all the burgers that I've had here. It's not very spicy. Nothing in the Philippines is all that spicy. Uh, but I would say that this is spicier than maybe some of the spicy chickens and stuff like that you get from Jollibee or any of the other fast food places. This is an excellent burger. Very, very solid burger. Can't go wrong with this. Okay, so everything that I ordered there, five different meals. I also had the cucumber lemonade. Uh, that was a total of 750 pesos, which is working out for the main dishes themselves, less than 150 per piece. Uh, it's a great value for the money. The food is very solid. Is it the best food you're ever gonna eat in your life? Absolutely not. But is it satisfying? Absolutely. Uh, is it tasty? Yes, it is. Uh, it's, you, you really can't go wrong with the value for the money that you get there. Having said that, Tropical Hut, check this place out. Definitely worth a visit and let's see what else we can get into. Alright, so the next place we're going to do here is a place called Burger Machine. This is considered the first 24 hour uh, burger place in all of the Philippines. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a minute, but let's check it out. Okay, so what I've ordered here is a few different things. I had to get their classic burger just because I wanted to try one of the classic burgers. Uh, I also got, there's a big thing here at Burger Machine that they do, they have a buy one, take one thing. So uh, I've got some chicken burgers, it's buy one, take one. I've got the uh, chili burgers, it was a buy one, take one. And then I've also ordered a big beef barbecue burger. Now to put this into perspective for you, a classic burger is 33 pesos, which works out to, uh, what's that word, about 60 cents for a hamburger. And Burger Machine, they don't have standalone stores. They're little small roadside stalls set up all over the place. And depending on what source you read today, uh, there's anywhere from 800 to 1,000 locations scattered throughout the Philippines everywhere. So let's give these a shot. This is their classic burger here. It's uh, a simple, basic patty. Let's give it a shot. You know what that reminds me of? Back in North America. Had to let the motorcycle go by first. Back in North America, we have crystals and uh, white castles. These are very much like that. Much bigger though. Much better value too. 
That is a solid burger. Next one up here is the chicken burgers and they're double chicken burgers. So there's three slices of bread in here and they're chicken patties. So let's go. <laughs> How much is the buy one take? Is that 58 pesos? Buy one take one? 50. All right. I had to double do a double take there. I asked the guy back behind the counter here. These double chicken burgers, buy one, take one for 58 pesos, which is just over a dollar US. Like, where are you gonna find better value than this here? And it's a tasty little burger. Now, like I said, burger machine is 24 hours and they're the first in the Philippines to do it. There's now a couple of other chains that do 24 hour things, but they're the first ones that have done it. That is very respectable for a very cheap burger. This is the jumbo chili burger. And this was also buy one, take one. There's real chili on that. This is the one here. This one here is 85 pesos for two. It's buy one, take one, so you get two of them. This one's really tasty. Less than $2. And it's a good burger. This is the big beef barbecue burger here. This is 67 pesos. It doesn't, it's not a buy one, take one on these here, but still just over a dollar for the burger. Very solid burger. You actually get lettuce and everything on this one here as well. Here's the thing, I had never heard of Burger Machine until I had come back to Manila after going everywhere else. When I was originally here, I'd never even heard of this place. Several Filipinos told me about it and said like, it's like their go-to when they're out because they're everywhere. You can, they're, they're literally all over the streets, all over the place. When they're just these small kiosks on the side of the road. Very solid burgers. All right, that's gonna kill everything here at Burger Machine. Uh, all three places, Banala, Tropical Hut, Burger Machine, all we're checking out. All maybe my new fast food places here to go to in the Philippines. So this is it for this one. We'll see you guys next week.